Hey there, and happy Friday. I hope you had an incredible week. In today's Fuel Your Success tip, I want to plug into the power of embracing fear. Because <sighs> I know, you know, the fear is real. Or is it? Well, of course it's real if you're out in the woods being chased by a bear. In that case, please, please forget everything and run. Save yourself. But when it comes to our goals and our dreams and fueling our successes, a lot of those fears, as you know, are stuck right up here in our heads, right? Our mind does an incredible job of imagining how future events are already ruined and all the things that can go wrong. It also does a great job at finding reasons and excuses. I'm not ready. I'm not prepared. I'm not good enough. I don't know what I'm doing. I might look foolish. I might make mistakes. Those last two are literally things I'm thinking as I'm doing this video right now. <laughs> but I'm stepping in. I'm leaning into the fear. I'm embracing that fear because as we embrace fear, we actually can focus that energy and respond in ways that are going to help us overcome those challenges, thrive, and really grow. So what I want to do is I want to take you back to May 10th. Oh, no, May 6, 2010. See, made a mistake and everything's okay. Um, May 6, 2010, and share a story about when I needed to embrace my fear so that I could really soar. So you can see for the helmet here, it's the story about flying lessons. Uh, so back in 2010, I was taking flying lessons. And that day, I was with my instructor. And as we were approaching uh, on our approach to land, I heard my instructor radio the tower and say, Montgomery Tower, Cessna 733 Golf Kilo, have student pilot ready for solo, prepare, requesting permission to land. What? Solo? I wasn't ready. My heart was pounding. I said, no, I'm not doing this today. My instructor looked at me and said, Natalie, it's now or never. And in reality, I'd probably been flying that plane multiple times with my instructor by my so side, but I knew he was there, right? If something went wrong, it was my comfort zone. I didn't have to worry about it. Well, we landed, he hops out of the plane, and as I'm taxiing to the runway, my heart pounding, I'm like, I've gotta do this. I've, I've gotta do this, it's part of the process. And I get to the end of the runway, I'm checking all my, my, uh, my panel, all my, uh, my equipment, my instruments, and I know I'm ready to go. I take a deep breath and I radio the tower. Montgomery Tower, Cessna 733 Golf Kilo, requesting permission for takeoff, runway 28 right. The tower squawks back. Cessna 733 Golf Kilo, permission granted. It was go time. So of course, I get the plane going, I'm rolling down the runway, everything's firing up. I pull back on that throttle and as those wheels leave the ground and I take off for my first time flying that plane by myself, and you can see the emotions here, I have the most comforting thought. <laughs> the thought is, if I wanna live through today, I need to land this plane. What? Anyways, take another couple deep breaths and all of a sudden, I ease into the peace of being in the air and gliding because I love flying and I can hear my instructor in my head and the voice and I go into my zone and I start remembering all that I need to do to fly that pattern. And I fly that pattern and I do a couple touch and goes. Uh, it's part of your solo, you have to do three touch and goes before you land. And I realize I got this, I'm doing this, I'm flying a plane by myself. How many people have flown a plane by themselves? <sighs> so it comes a time when it's time to come in and land the plane and I radio the tower. Montgomery Power, Cessna 733 Golf Kilo, requesting permission to land. The tower radios back that I have permission to land and I, I come in for my landing on that day and I'll tell you, I was so disciplined and so focused with my fear and wanting to make sure I walked away from that landing that that was probably the softest, most gentle, most perfect landing I've ever had in my life. Any landing's a land, good landing is a landing you can walk away from. But anyways, it's a real 
that was real fear. You know, it was literally life or death. I could have crashed that plane. But anyways, I wanted to just share that story because um, now I can say I've soloed a plane, one of few people who have, and it's an exciting accomplishment, right? So May 6, 2010. Um, so really, where I want to go with this, and I'm making all kinds of mistakes, and it's okay. It's okay not to be perfect. <sighs> is that when we embrace our fears and lean into that, we really can face everything and rise. Like I literally did that day on that plane, rose to new levels. Um, and really what happened in that moment is I was feeling excited and ready once I actually got off the ground. I was really ready for that moment. So if we rethink through those things, reframe our fear into feeling excited and ready so that we can face everything and rise and focus that energy and respond in ways that are going to help us grow and thrive. It makes fear a whole new animal. It's always going to be part of accomplishing our successes. So I hope you enjoyed that story um, and I hope you enjoy the rest of today's fuel up and the rest of the tips below. Have a great Friday and uh, I'm looking forward to doing more videos and uh, sharing more tips this way in future few ups.